Okay, so our rooms aren't ready yet, so we're gonna go back down to deck seven to the local bar and grill and grab some lunch. It's 12.20 now, so it's definitely time to eat. Okay, local is this way through the casino. I wish that they had like, um, you know, mall signs that told you where things are. <laughs> There's a bar, Skyline Bar. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. We just need to find a restroom and sit down. That's my next thing. Sandbar. All right, so here we are back at in the center again. Okay, here we are, the local. 24 hours a day, overlooking the atrium. Okay, just try to go to the local and they won't let you into the restaurant until you've done your muster. So we're going back to the elevators, down to deck six, and then to our muster drill station of E2, and then we can go and eat. And I still have yet to see a bathroom. No idea where the restrooms are. It's 12.30, we've been wandering around for an hour. We don't have a clue what we're doing. We finally made it to the local. It is 12.34. We chose to overlook all the people and be nosy. And we're gonna get a drink and some food. Ooh. They have nachos and spinach artichoke dips. Fish and chips. You gotta ask what the blue plate special is, although I want something light, so maybe just a sandwich would be good. And then I want a cocktail. Should I do a Mai Tai? It looks like a pretty good choice. Or a passion fruit cooler? Moscow Mule? All right, so our wings showed up in less than four minutes <laughs> and we got our Reuben with chips. So Michael got the regular buffalo and I got the sweet Korean and we'll share them all. And I got the passion cocktail, which is really zingy. It's got a little bit of tartness, it's good. And Michael got the blue, which is super alcoholic. So I won't be drinking that one. <laughs> And the wings are very, very crispy already, I can tell. I said this might be the only drink I drink. It's all true. <laughs> what do you think of that uh, lunch? It was delicious. It was delicious. The Korean sweet chili wings were not like the normal weak, sugary sweet chili sauce that I'm used to. It was like real spicy, hot. spicy chili sauce. So it was very good, but it was not hot enough. Not hot enough for Michael though. And then the buffalo were really mild, actually, way milder than even like what I would tolerate as being mild. The drinks are both delicious. Michael found a favorite. His is very alcoholic. And then the Reuben was very good. That it was loaded with a lot of good corned beef. The the bread wasn't very toasted. It was a little bit limp, but I liked the flavor it was a lot. Bread. It was good. It was nice and soft. Yeah. So if you're looking for something crunchier, it just depends on what you're used to. But I think that was one of the top Reubens I've had. Top five. Top it, five. It didn't. It was tasty, it and it tasted like a Reuben. My mouth at all. It was not abrasive like most toast. That's true. Toasted sandwiches to kill you in the mouth. Yes, and our our wonderful server has been great already, anticipating our needs. Um, I think that we're going to be very excited about the customer service experience here because... Because you need it a lot, we, because it's unorganized. There's chaos everywhere. We've been bumbling around the ship, not knowing anything about what we're doing, so now we're finally like sitting down and eating, and it's much better. But let me show you our view. 
So here is the local. And we decided to sit here so we can people watch. And this is the atrium on the sixth floor down there. And then here is the hostess stand where you check in to eat either on this side or on that side. They'll let you basically sit yourself as long as they know to get you. Um, and I got confused because that's actually a muster station. And they were like, no, 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 you have to check in with your muster station before you can come and eat. So it's good to know. Good to know these things. And our rooms will be back that way towards those elevators. Um, but we're basically mid-ship just about now. We're, we're a little bit forward of mid. Mm. Oh, I like that it has like a, a cream sauce on the bottom. Okay. Maurice noticed Did that I notice? put the lime in his drink, so he gave a lime into that drink. How nice is that? Did you notice that? Yes, I did. And this is the Mai Tai, and it's got some mint on the top. He noticed that I ate the lime, but not the orange. <laughs> and the drink only comes with an orange slice, not a lime slice. Well, isn't that nice? I noticed that he noticed, and he put it in there. So. That's the kind of service we're going to get. We're going to go home and be like, Where, what have we done wrong with our lives? <laughs> okay. I'm going to go up again and see if the hallway to our rooms are open yet. There's the local. We're on deck seven. Down, down. Looking for up, up. All right, I've got an elevator to myself. I've got to go downstairs and book my entertainment for Elements and Footloose. I'm just going to see if my the hallway to our room is ready yet. I left Michael behind because it's easier than carrying all of our crap. Okay, hallway is open. So that's 10, five, okay. 10-2. It looks like our hallway is at least open. Let's have a peek. And then we can. There we go. 270. Okay, so we want we would want to go that way. Aft. And look at the little fishies. Okay, so that's backwards. That's forwards. Stairs everywhere, which is great. I think each floor smells a little bit different. The floor that we were just on, if you go by the casino, it kind of smells like Pirates of the Caribbean, to be honest. There are quite a few elevators, eight of them. I was just talking to someone else. There are only some that go to higher up floors. So I guess they're in like the Haven or a suite or something and they needed to go all the way up and my elevator wouldn't do that here we go down i'm walking this is eight hello how are you good thank you waterfront district brew house food republic <laughs> Very nice. So now people can walk along the deck. I guess they were working on uh, getting some more things on board. Over there. Found Michael. So I just turned on the TV. And let's see about internet. Account review? Ashley, that they won't kick in. We're watching our mandatory safety video. Even though we did watch one, there's a different one. Here's the page it immediately goes to. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to go down to the internet desk. 
I figure that out. So we already know where our muster station is. We're 10 to 70, which is midship, 10th floor. And our muster station was in Taste, I think, which is near the main dining room on deck six. So we just went over to the internet help desk, which is here in the atrium on deck six. And they said that despite the fact that we both got the free at sea, free internet, which is a minutes based package up to like 200 minutes. And then I also bought the $89 um, internet upgrade. Um, only one device can be logged in at a time. And it's all under my name because I'm the, the official I don't know. Account holder. Account holder, I guess. So, this is so stupid. The fact that we both paid for internet, it said buy one per cabin. It only gave me the option to buy one, and I put it under my name since I'm the one that, that's been doing it. We both can't be sitting in the room Googling or talking to each other on the WhatsApp or anything. So, I had him download the WhatsApp so that we could separate on the shift and be able to communicate with each other because he does not have an iPhone. I have an iPhone, which if he had one, we would be able to iMessage between each other for free with no internet. Um, but that, we can't do that. We can't WhatsApp each other. So that's going to be a pain in the butt. Not even kidding. Um, of course, none of the, the little text at the bottom said anything about this that I was aware of. So there's always stipulations to these things, and I feel like I've already been nickled and dimed to death at this point. The microtransactions are stacking up. Yeah. Not even our drinks are really free with the drink package. Well, I prepaid gratuities and went up and ate food at the local, which was good, and we had two drinks each and had um, a sandwich and some wings to split. And I came back to my room and we were already charged $1.86 and $1.37 or something like that for, I don't know what. Do they add more gratuities on top of the gratuities I've already prepaid? I thought that was the point of prepaid gratuities. So it's already started to chip away at my balance. And I still haven't received the $75 from my cruise agent yet. But the lady at the front desk over there said that it should appear magically after we leave port. So after I lose cell service and after I lose the, inter the internet, then I'll be able to potentially see my credits. But in the meantime, I won't be able to communicate with my travel agent about that if they are missing because I will not have internet or a cell signal. So... Ah oh, well, we're on vacation, we're gonna go drink, but these are the little things that you're gonna need to pay attention to because I had no idea that we weren't going to get all the packages that we paid for and all the prepaid gratuities that we paid for. Of course, we left a tip on the table as well. So, I don't know. I'm gonna go buy another drink and see if more charges show up at that bar on my TV because if so, then that means that I've prepaid gratuities and then they're charging more gratuities on top of that for whatever reason. Just found this, so I think that that's what we ended up getting charged. But let's have another drink. It's 2.49. Drinks are fun. Atrium bar.